Hello! In today's video, we are going to be looking at a cheap item that I bought from China. Will it be any good or will it be rubbish? Find out as I say, roll titles! Recently, I started getting a lot of adverts on my Instagram and Facebook for a headlight. Not like for a car, like a headlight that goes on your head. It actually reminded me of some of the products that Unilight sell, which just are really cool, but they are a bit pricey. Now this one isn't very pricey at all. In fact, it is an absolute steal at £21.64, and that seemed pretty cheap. Now, the website itself does have some flashy marketing images and videos, and I'm not going to lie, I was actually quite drawn into it. So uh, I thought, it's just over 20 quid, let's take a little punt on this and see what it's like. Right, just stopping the video for a second there. This is present day kit, and uh, I'm on about how amazingly cheap this light is. And uh, I actually did some Googling, which I should have done before purchasing it. And it's actually available uh, a lot cheaper in other places. So uh, look at the description and I'll stick some links in there to where you can actually buy it a lot cheaper. So uh, yeah, I feel a bit daft. But anyway, on with the video. Now I have been stung before with buying stuff from China and it doesn't end up being what's shown in the advert. It's a nightmare to get your money back. So I kind of thought, mm, we'll see what turns up. And um, well, this has turned up. So it's quite a small little package. I'll give you my phone for reference. And I didn't really, I was like, oh God, it's not what it says it is, but it is. So let's have a look at the box. So we've got all perspectives, induction headlamp, whatever that means. And it says high efficiency Cobb LED and XPE LED lights. I know COB stands for chip on board, but I don't know what XPE stands for. Working time of 2.5 to 8 hours. Okay. A Type-C USB rechargeable cable included. Ooh, you are spoiling us. And what are the icons? We've got USB, wave induction, ooh, and 350 lumens. Now, I've got no way of physically testing lumens, so I don't know. And what does it say on the side here? Durable and stretchable headband with silicone lampshell is adjustable to any head size. Good. Super bright and five light modes illuminate up to 230 degrees and 150 foot away with the 350 lumen LED lights. Okay. Easy to operate with one button to switch in five power modes. A applicable to various scenarios such as running, jogging, camping, hiking, fishing, bicycling, dog walking, reading, outdoor recreation, construction, emergency, etc. They've missed out dogging. Not, not that I'd know. Anyway, ah, look, this is a very stern warning. No direct shining of eyes of people or animal, which may cause instant blindness. That is really bright, instant blindness. And uh, on the back here, it's got this handy chart that tells you about the battery life. So the uh, cob light will give you 2.5 hours on the battery. Having it down at the lower setting will give you five hours. Using the flashing light, it will give you eight hours. Using the XPE light, 100%, that's four hours. And using the XPE at 40%, that's eight hours. So um, let's get it out of the box and have a little look. Well, I mean, it doesn't look as sort of quite as flashy as it does on the pictures, but it doesn't look too far off. It's kind of okay. What have we got here? So we've got a power button there. We've got a button to turn on and off the wave sensor. I'll show you that in a minute. There's a uh, power indication light. I think these are charging LEDs. So underneath this rubber cover, we have got a USB-C charging point. I don't know what this is. It looks like a reflector, but it's not. Now it says this has got an IPX4 waterproof rating. That sounds quite cool, but it just means you can splash it and it'll be okay. Okay, so uh, let's try the power modes and see what it does. Wow, okay, so that's the uh, cob light. As you can see, that's quite bright. Let's knock it down to 40% by pressing the button again. There we go. And then, if I press it again, it hopefully should put the other light on. 
Oh, right, okay, you've got to cycle. Me pausing is causing problems. So that is the other LED light. And then press it again, and it's at 40% brightness. And then I think if you press and hold the button while this is on, it goes into emergency flashlight. A real warning for people with photosensitive epilepsy. This is mad, okay, so just bear in mind. So you just hold down the power button. And um, disco. Yeah, I mean, that, that would capture anyone's attention. I mean, this could work really well in like a horror maze. Okay, enough of that. Now it does have a wave sensor as well. So um, you press this button here, the LED changes slightly. And if you wave your hands in front of it, it turns it on and off, which I think is quite cool. So if you're sort of working and then someone comes to talk to you, you can just ninja your hand to the side and the light will turn off, which is good because this will cause blindness if people look into it. I'm sorry if I blinded you. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to try and put it on my head and see what it's like. Let's do that. I mean, it ruins my quiff, actually. I think I need to make it a bit tighter. So it's got a stretchy, adjustable headband thing. The gardeners are mowing the lawn outside, so I do apologize if you can hear any noise in the background. There we go. So, um, on. I'll turn the wave sensor on. <laughs> right, okay, let's, um, so that's full on. That's 40%. That's this on 100%. That's that on 40%. And then, hang on. This is the SOS nightmare mode. I mean, it looks okay. It's a bit weird looking, but um, yeah, it seems to do the job. So what I think we'll do now is maybe uh, I'll take this out for a little walk with Dougie later and uh, we can see what it's like. So uh, it's about 10 past eight and it's got dark. I'm out with Dougie and uh, this is all being lit by this head torch. So um, let me just wave my hand and turn the head torch off and you can see how dark it is without it. There you go. And then quite the difference. Let me just switch modes. So now this is the light on the side of it. It's actually quite powerful. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what the claim distances are. I don't think it lights as much as it says it does. But for walking the old dog, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, this is a bit Blair Witch. <laughs> anyway, back to me at the table. Well, there you go. I mean, I'm pretty pleased with it, to be honest with you. I wasn't expecting very much. And I think it's not as flashy as it might look from the uh, photos. And I've got no way of knowing if it is actually pumping out 350 lumens. But for 20 quid, it's perfectly serviceable. Um, I don't know how it will work long term. I don't know how realistic the battery life things are. I could maybe test it if you're interested. But yeah, if you're working a lot in dark spaces or you're out walking the dog at night, it could be really quite good. And you know, for just over 20 quid, it's well worth a pump. So yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm surprised actually how good it is. Uh, so yeah, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.